and now we're going to pause here and fingers crossed we go to Hayden's last music festival of the year hopefully it happens this time today I want to focus on privacy make sure not so many neighbors can see in to our land to start off with I have bulk bought 25 native pittosporums it uh, ended up being $3.80 each if I bought 25 of them majority of them will go along here and they grow about one meter a year and they're super hardy I've seen them growing in this area so I know they can handle the frost <laughs> apparently when they're young they're a little bit frost tender so I might just need to look after them this first year but with patience we'll have privacy along this stretch My plan is to use the auger just to get it going and then use a spade to break up the edging. The first of 25 planted. <laughs> And some of you might have thought, gee, Karen's kind of walking a bit funny in this video. Well, a fun pregnancy update. Overall, I've had it pretty easy. But just in the last couple of weeks, something's going on with my hips. Sounds like you pregnant women get relaxin hormone to help make room for the baby. One of the side effects, one of the possibilities is it relaxes your ligaments around your hip area and your back so my left hip is so painful right now I'm genuinely struggling to walk doesn't sound like there's a huge amount you can do I'm seeing my midwife later next week so we're going to talk about the options I'm stopping at number 12 for the day my back Oh, and the hip, left hip area is completely stiffening up on me, hobbling along. Hayden's just lifted the heavy water bucket for me to water them. <laughs> I've got a fun delivery! <laughs> Yay! And my privacy screening has arrived. This will go on the roadside, which is quite public. And talking about the auger used to make the holes, uh, interesting enough, this is one of my... I'm, I'm influenced a lot by her for gardening. She knows her stuff. and She says, don't use an auger. <laughs> She says it basically makes a bowl and you drown the plant, but I decided it was a lot easier to use and we've got different soil type. She has a lot of clay, we've got a lot of pumice, so I did use a spade around the edges. I'm hoping that works and it's fine that I don't drown these plants. <laughs> soil down here looks pretty good actually really dark and yeah the top soil levers level is a lot deeper but it also gets very wet down here but I guess plants that it can handle moisture probably do really well here I've got two baby related appointments today one with the midwife to get a referral to the afternoon appointment at a physio and hopefully hopefully I can get some crutches <laughs> I'm just thinking I'm away on, on later this week and it's gonna be a bit challenging if I can't easily move around 
yeah. <laughs> And to be honest, I've had a pretty cruisy pregnancy, I think, overall, compared to some of my friends. So I can handle this. If I can get some crutches, if I can still get around, it's okay. Mystery solved. Apparently I've got sciatica pain, which is a nerve that's all around your hip area and the baby can push onto it and just because also this relaxing hormone is involved it's just sore <laughs> so I've been mani I managed to get some crutches which I can have till the um, end of the pregnancy which is a huge relief actually it's a huge relief I'm already loving the crutches I've only just got them but what a difference I'm no longer feel like I'm clenched with pain whenever I move around but I'm I'm week 30 this week so time is flying by really we're actually off in a couple more days to the music festival looks like it's on this time so far touch wood touch wood and I've actually been driving my ute around the land from place to place rather than trying to hobble there <laughs> I decided today was the day I was going to pick the largest apple. I'm just a bit nervous that it's going to be on the tree too long, so <laughs> we'll try it out. Yum yum. Apple tree is doing amazing. Plum tree, not so well, unfortunately. It's not looking so happy right now. Uh, it looks good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, a little bit sour. <laughs> Could have been on a tree maybe a little bit longer. But there's something about picking fruit from your own fruit tree. And I'm off. Probably four, four and a half hour drive north. I will admit, I'm feeling pretty tired. Already want to be there. Took me a lot longer than normal to pack up. Still need to attach the car to the caravan, so not quite there yet. So yeah, heading off to the music festival. It's actually really peaceful. I like it before the festival starts because it's just all, it's quiet, it's really pretty. This is the last day of the music festival and I'm glad I came. Everyone seemed to have a good time. The odd shower, but that's okay, it's part of a festival, right? <laughs> yeah. I did manage to hobble down to the water at one point, but overall I kept very close to the caravan. <laughs> 